40 years today, Rachel Runyon was kidnapped from a playground in Sunset. Her body was eventually found in the mountains in Morgan County, but her killer has never been found. Authorities looking at someone who ABC4 News first told you about last month. For every crime, there's a story in The Truth Matters. Here's ABC4's Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. The disappearance and murder of Rachel Runyon still haunts her mother even after 40 years. But she wants her story out in the public so that no one forgets her and perhaps one day, a person with a very dark secret will do the right thing. I would like to take a moment to honor my daughter, Rachel Runyon, how she is missed by all who knew her in her three short years. August 26, 1982, would be the last day anyone saw Rachel Runyon alive. A man who was driving a blue Pinto wagon, similar to this one, took her from this very same spot in Sunset. Rachel was playing with her older brothers when a man offered to take her to get ice cream. A month later, little Rachel's body was found in the mountains in Morgan County. These are the two conflicting composites Sunset Police have on the suspect, but Rachel's older brother, a witness at the time, claimed the seldom seen one of a possible Hispanic man best described Rachel's abductor. Sunset's police chief offered more details on the description. The subject has a medium brown co complexion and had a dark Afro style haircut. The subject also had a black mustache with a gap in the philtrum area. A sketch isn't a photo, a sketch is a best ability, a tool to help people convey the message. The description that the chief gave was ideal. Keep your mind open, it's the description. Last month on The Justice Files, Anise said her uncle drove a blue Pinto wagon similar to this one. The woman who wanted to remain anonymous said her uncle, who's now deceased, was a known sex offender. He had hurt little girls before. He had hurt um, one of the babysitters and did time in jail. Mm -hmm. And that's why when he was around, we were kind of banned from going over there. At today's gathering, the police chief said he's aware of this newly found person and will be meeting with a niece. We'll reach out and we'll look into it and do a thorough investigation on it to see if we can uh, um, reach some type of evidence that ties that person to this particular crime. Meanwhile, family and friends gather to honor Rachel at the park named after her. Her mother says she'll never give up looking for her killer. Maybe someone will come forward. There's no need to be afraid. It's been 40 years, so I just take it day at a time. There is a $65,000 reward being offered for anyone who has information that can lead to a suspect and a conviction. Details can be found on our website, abc4.com. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.